All right, good evening, everybody. We're gonna go into detail about ED Glass. I made a blog post about it, but what I also wanna do is do a nice little presentation about it. Uh, probably take about five or 10 minutes. Uh, to probably, yeah, we could probably crank through it that amount of time. Uh, if you like reading better though, go to the, go to the blog post. Uh, there's definitely a lot of good information there. So ED Glass. ED Glass is well, it stands for extra low dispersion glass. Uh, this you, you you've probably heard the term HD glass before. Well, that's synonymous with ED glass. They're, they they mean the same thing. Just some people call it HD glass, like Athlon Optics, uh, who we uh, who's a brand that we carry. They call it HD glass a lot. Uh, but ED glass, HD glass, synonymous. Um, and then, and then there's a couple of other terms that aren't the same thing as ED glass, but they deal with the same sort of thing. So there's SLD, which is special low dispersion, uh, ELD, which is extraordinary low dispersion, and then UL, which is ultra low dispersion. Okay, but we're not going to worry about those. We're just going to focus on ED glass. Why that matters, especially when it matters in rifle scopes, spotting scopes, uh, binoculars, all that good stuff. So. The clarity of a rifle scope tends to, or not, not tends to, but is directly correlated with how the light travels through the tra travels through the glass. Because whenever light passes through any kind of medium, it disperses and it has different effects that 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 happen to it. So, I mean, an example of this is like if you ever put your hand below water, and it looks like your hand is actually like farther out than. What, what, what it looks like. Well, that, that's because the light that's going through that, or sorry, that it's farther out than what it actually is. <laughs> it looks like it's farther out than what it actually is. So that's because the light that is uh, going through the water is dispersing. It's not, it, it, it reacts with the water differently than how it reacts to air. And that's because it's just going through a different medium. Uh, light is made up of different waves and these wavelengths th these waves will uh break up spread apart etc etc and when it does that then it causes a distortion in view and so when we talk about optics uh, obviously you're using a rifle scope uh to to have the glass uh magnify the target so that you can see the target easier well that glass causes the light that comes through it to have a, a different effect than what the naked eye would see and what what that effect tends to what what ED glass does, it, and we're going to get into details about what like like the opposite. Uh, what ED glass does is it causes the wavelength. So in this picture here, light is coming here. Picture these as just being waves of light. It causes them all to come together at a specific focal point, which would be this right here. And that focal point ideally would be where your eye is uh, is looking into the scope. And this is gonna create better clarity for you. Now, the what, what that reduces is what's called chromatic aberration. So like we mentioned earlier, uh, when light travels through a different medium or travels through different mediums, it tends to distort. Well, when it travels through an optic like this, the the different uh, lengths of the wavelengths uh, don't hit the same focal point. So if you look in this first picture here, well, I guess the first part of the picture we should say, notice how all these different uh, all these different light spectrums are spread out, right? And if you remember from the one before, we want them all to come together at the same focal point. Well, these are not coming together at the same focal point. So that's going to give you a j just a blurrier look. At what's going on uh, at the other end of the scope. Now, what AD, ED glass does is it reduces that it, it, it reduces the distance between those wavelengths and makes them come together at the same focal point, like we saw, what, like we showed in the uh, last slide. So this is going to have much reduced color and resolution, and it's just going to give you a much sharper image with a higher resolution. Now, ED glass is made. It, the, the only th what's done to ED glass to make it ED glass is that certain chemicals are vaporized, and then the glass itself is coated with these chemicals. So it started with magnesium fluoride, 
um, the folks like Nikon and uh, I mean they, they weren't the original founders of it, but like when 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 they were first making it, uh, they would vaporize magnesium fluoride and then they would coat the glass with magnesium fluoride. And this has since uh, they, they've since started using other chemicals for it that they found uh, work, work just as well. What these chemicals do is that they distance or they, they compress the distance between the uh, each color's plane of focus. So they're dispersing or they're 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 dispersing the light way, waves in a way to where they're going to be able to come together at that at that certain point. Now, there are different levels of coating, and obviously, so, so well, let, let's start here. Obviously, ED glass is going to be more expensive than regular glass because it takes longer to do. It takes, the, like, the manufacturing process is just more complicated. It's going to take longer to, to make an ED glass optic than a non-ED glass optic. Uh, how, that being said, there are multiple types of coating that go into ED glass. So one, the first type is the fully multi-coated optic or uh, fully multi-coated glass or optics, and this is uh, this is probably going to be the most expensive. Uh, all the air-to-glass surfaces are covered with multiple anti-reflective coatings, so they're not not just one. Like they're all covered with just with a bunch of different coatings, and that's adding even more. Uh, more of those chemicals that we were talking about earlier, so it's going to reduce the lengths between the uh, b between the planes of focus even more. Then there's fully coated optics. Uh, that that's the same as fully multi coated optics, except it's only covered with one anti reflective coating. Then multi coated optics, which is just one or more surfaces, is covered with the multi coats. And then coated optics is just a uh, it, it is just one or more surfaces as well. Now, whenever light hits a an uncoated surface, about four to five percent of that light is reflected and doesn't get to your eye. So when you're dealing with a rifle scope, you could be losing as much as five to ten percent of whatever of of the light that originally hit the uh, uh, that that hit the outside lens by the time it gets to your eye. Uh, because it passes through the objective lens and then the ocular lens. Now, spotting scopes, you could lose upwards of 50% of the light that's coming through. So it's really that, the, and this tends to be why spotting scopes cost more, is because they almost have to be a fully multi coated lens, uh, apochromatic lens system. And we'll go into apochromatic later on in, in, in other videos, but just know that it's a, it's a type of lens system that reduces the. Uh, chromatic aberration and uh, so it's very important to have these kinds of coatings on your lenses uh, otherwise you're just gonna be buying a you're gonna be buying a, buying a scope that isn't really gonna be doing much for you because I mean you're losing a lot of the light that's coming that is coming through your eye and the whole point of having a scope is so you can magnify targets downrange now, like I said earlier, ED glass tends to be much more expensive than non-ED glass, uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to show some fairly inexpensive uh, inexpensive options. So for rifle scopes, the Athlon Argus BTR is really good. It's a fully multi-coated, uh, shockproof, waterproof, fogproof. Uh, the edge glass reticle is really, really nice, and that's in both in a, uh, mil and MOA. Um, they also come with a lifetime warranty, which is great. These come in at under four hundred dollars, and they we there, there are multiple multiple videos that I have on this on this site that you can check out of people shooting a thousand yards <laughs> with a with, with one of these scopes. So coming in under four hundred bucks and shooting at a thousand yards is really good. Uh, they I mean that this one that I showed is the 8 to 34 magnification but there's also 6 to 24 magnification and that one's got a 50 millimeter objective lens unlike uh unlike this one and these are first focal plane scopes too uh for spotting scopes I mean spotting scopes can cost upwards of two thousand dollars sometimes fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars right uh the Athlon Aries I also have a I have a product review of that if you want to check it out really really good 
um, I, I did the 15 to 45 by 65 and it, uh, that that's the one that I personally own, uh, again, fully multi-coated, uh, lifetime warranty, all this good stuff. Uh, this one comes in at right about 600 bucks, which is fantastic because like I said, a lot of good spotting scopes can go f upwards of 1500 to $2,000 and then binoculars. Um, the Athlon Talos is pretty good. It's pretty good because it starts at about 120 bucks and there's five, maybe six. I think it's just five different uh, magnification select, uh, selections. These are fully multi-coded too. So you don't necessarily have to break the bank to get a really expensive or to get a re really nice uh, set of uh, set of ED glass or an optic that has ED glass, I should say. Uh, not to mention all these ones come with lifetime warranty. And just and if you buy like Vortex or something like that, those come with lifetime warranty too. So if anything ever goes wrong, you're pretty much covered. So drop comments below. Let me know. Uh, let, let, let me know what you think. And we'll talk to you next time.